What's up guys, Joe with Odyssey Off-Road. We are in the 2024 Tundra. Just pulling out of the gas station here, we're going on a little road trip. So I think this would be a great opportunity to do a little uh, short video and review of how the truck does on the on road trips. Uh, this will be the second road trip I've taken in the truck. This one's going to be just myself. Uh, I'm driving about four hours to the sand dunes in California. Uh, and he's heard of Glamis, so that's the area I'll be going to. And then um, I have my ATV in the bed, so my Raptor 700. And five gallons of fuel, I got firewood, a cooler full of ice and drinks and food. Um, and then, you know, some sleeping and camping gear and myself. And the first road trip we did with the truck was from where we live here in Southern Arizona, a little bit south of Tucson to uh, Scottsdale for the Dirt Expo. Um, that was about a 310 mile round trip. And uh, truck did awesome, got night. He was cruising pretty good on the freeway, about 75 to 80 miles an hour uh, most of the trip, sometimes over 80 um, in certain spots. So, and we averaged 19.8 on that trip. Uh, the truck currently has 1,173 miles, so 1,173 miles on it. So it's not even broken in yet, really. Um, so we'll see how it does on this trip. Um, we'll catch up with you when I get to the dunes, and we'll, that'll be kind of the halfway mark of this trip, and then again uh once we get home from the trip in a few days kind of recap how it did my thoughts on the truck uh and during doing road trips with it in this uh short amount of time uh but a good sample size nonetheless with the uh, trip to scottsdale and then this trip here to california so stay tuned to the channel and smash that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe we'll be back with you here in a bit All right, guys, so we are just about at the sand dunes, um, about a mile away from the exit. So that's uh, 279 miles from my house, and we average 18.4 miles per gallon as of right now. So truck's awesome. I literally had it cruise control at about 80 miles, uh, 79 miles an hour, I would say, uh, majority of the trip crept over that a little bit, you know, past the truck, um, but pretty much 78, 79, uh, the entire way, cruise control, just very comfortable ride. Uh, truck drives, unbelievable. Uh, so we'll pick up after we get back from the trip, second leg of the trip, you know, headed home, and then I'll talk more about my thoughts, so. All right, guys, it is the next morning. So you'll see it's 16.7 is what we got on the way home from the dunes. Uh, same, obviously, length of time the trip was to on the way. It's about 279, 280 miles. Um, <clears throat> so I've averaged that up with the mileage I got going there. Ended up being 17.5 for the trip average. And um, that's with, you know, the quad in the bed, cooler, myself, all that stuff. So, so I had, and I had the tailgate open too the whole time. Um, tailgate was down because the quad sticks out just a little bit. And then I had my cooler on top of that. Um, ice chest, full. So that was that was some late quads about four hundred and I don't know with all the accessories on it maybe four twenty five four thirty I don't know somewhere around there um, all my camping gear myself so and I was going about you know like I said eighty miles an hour almost the whole trip seventy nine pretty much in cruise control uh, the whole way there and pretty much the whole way back same same thing so I I'm pretty happy with it I mean. Um, and on the way home, we got less because we were hitting a crazy headwind. And like the whole, the whole way from um, the dune, the sand dunes are in, or just past Yuma, Arizona. So just into California, right off uh, Interstate 8. So taking that home to the 10, uh, that whole way across Arizona, you know, headed east, there was a headwind the whole way home. So... It was, and, and you know, the truck drives awesome. Like in previous vehicles, it probably would have been downshifted 
in all honesty, and this thing just cruised right along at like, you know, 1800 RPMs, uh, in, in 10th gear the whole, the whole time. Um, never downshifted once, you know, obviously unless I intentionally did to pass somebody, but truck's terrific. I love it. Awesome road trip vehicle. Super comfortable is the main takeaway from, uh, the truck on a, on a road trip with all your gear and stuff in it. it cruising on the freeway it is extremely easy to drive. You don't, you're not fighting it. It just cruises. Uh, there is, you know, you, like I said, to set that thing in cruise control at your desired speed and it just, it just goes, you know, the heated and cooled seats and all that stuff just makes it for a pleasurable experience. Um, if you're going to need any of that stuff, my only takeaway negative I found out, uh, during this trip about the truck was all the charging ports uh, only work when the accessory is on your key uh, when you hit the button and turn the accessory uh, power on so which when you're camping and you want to charge your I wanted to charge my cell phone at night you had to leave either the truck running or turn the accessory uh, on and plug your phone in and in which case you know it shuts off after 10 15 minutes to save the battery so you got to turn it back on again so do that a few times to get your phone charged up. But um, so that's that's kind of a, I don't know why they didn't have at least, at least one port in the truck always hot. I didn't check the back ones, but I'm assuming they're the same as the front. I don't know why they'd make the back always hot. But I figured that one up there would be always hot. So I plugged uh, an adapter into that and tried it. And that was still off too. It was only uh, hot when the accessory, when you hit the button and uh, fire it up the electronics. And the one on the stereo, you know, for the stereos, obviously, only comes on when the key's on. And the same thing with these in here. Same thing. Um, they're not hot unless you turn the key on. So that's the only bummer I found out. We got 1736 now on the truck. I'm probably going to dump the oil and put some fresh oil on it um, just to get the initial break-in oil out. But the truck's doing awesome. And um, I really enjoyed uh, road trip. And then, like I said, this is the second, not big road trip, uh, you know, but enough to get an idea of how, how she does on a road trip. And um, I'm happy with the few miles I'm getting. Like I said, the last trip we did up to uh, Scottsdale from here with the whole family in it, you know, and that was about 300 miles round trip. And that was, you know, about around 20 miles to the gallon. So, um with the quad in the bed, tailgate down, and all the weight and stuff, you know, that's, you're losing a lot of aerodynamics, plus you're carrying some more weight in the, and, you know, you're holding some weight in the bed for it to only lose about, you know, a mile and a half a gallon. And I'm cruising at higher speeds. I mean, if you knock it down to 70, 75, your MPGs are going to go way up, or well, you know, well over 20 probably. So, but, you know, I was in, I'm in a rush to get home. <laughs> it's late last night. I'm tired. I thought about just uh, going slower with the headwind and, uh, seeing if that helped but i was like i just wanted to get home in all honesty i got home last night it was uh dark unloaded all the stuff so finished filming this here this morning i gotta put all this stuff away here away but hope that gives you guys an idea as to what um you know what to expect on a road trip with you know road trip and this type of you know this truck with these similar packages the TOD off-road package crew max five and a half foot bed and um that is pretty much it for this one. Short video. Just wanted to kind of go over my thoughts on the uh, truck, on the, how it does on the highway, and how it does fuel mileage-wise and those types of you know scenarios. And then we'll keep these up to date as we have the truck longer and uh, any shortcomings of it. Or uh, we'll do some reviews maybe around 10,000 miles or something like that when we get some more mileage on it or if anything happens in between. But Joe with Odyssey off road here. Thanks for tuning into the video. Smash the thumbs up button if you liked it. More Tundra content coming. Obviously, plenty of ATV content too. And uh, we're going to edit a video from the trip with the Raptor at the Dunes. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, stick around and check it out. So we'll see you on the next one.